if you sit around and wait for a mystery God, you're going to be poor, ragged, hungry, naked, and out of doors. My young brothers, sisters, and my older brothers and sisters, understand that this is your only life. When this leaves you, you're not coming back to tell somebody anything. It's over. Therefore, you must protect the life that the Creator gave you as a gift from Him. And you must use your life with wisdom like you use money. Well, since you misuse money, you know you misuse life. My young brothers, you're careless with your life, and it's all you got. Life don't mean nothing to you. You take your little pistol, your little knife, and you cut each other up. You destroy this precious gift called life. And you come here, and you could have made a contribution, and you die doing nothing to better the evolving cause of human progress. Sisters, young women, this is the only life you have. Don't throw it away. Use life with wisdom. As long as you think there's another life after this one. After you are physically dead, you will tolerate the intolerable. Listen, brothers and sisters, your duty, my duty, when God gave me life, was to do the best I could with this to change the conditions that were prevailing at the time of my birth. I'm not looking to die, to go no place to enjoy a better life. The hereafter for me, as well as for you, is right now. Here, in my mind, after false ideas and concepts are destroyed, I have a peace and contentment of mind. Then if you got peace here, you don't lay down in your bed and say, I'm at peace. You go to work, pool your resources to build, and everywhere you go, you keep expanding that peaceful idea until you remove hell and set up heaven right on earth. It's uh, And it's so simple. We have a project that we are working on. We call it Project Steal Away, an FOI and MGT financial freedom plan. We want every brother and every sister within the next year to be able to say, I do not work for white folks anymore. I work for myself. Now look, do you realize what it takes to build a hospital? Do you realize what it takes to build a university? You can't build a hospital and a university. You can't buy tens of thousands of acres of land to feed our people if we're just going to wait on the little money you make from the white man to give a little charitable donation, we'll be around here for the next thousand years talking about building a school or a hospital. Do you realize that if we took this financial freedom plan and said, look, 
I'm really going to try and work for myself. I'm going to use my life in a better way. I'm going to stop believing that there's some mystery God that's going to change reality for me. I'm going to change the reality in my own life. Brother, when you start thinking like that, you will start using the power of your own self and you'll see that you got all the power you need to change reality. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, the fire of the sun is the life and the energy that energizes our universe. He said, the fire of the sun is in all of us. So that means you've got light, you've got power. It just has to be turned on, activated. Now just think with me in the closing minutes of this lecture, what damage it does to your mind to think that there's a mystery God. Check this out. I'm at home and I'm hungry. My children are hungry. And I go in my next room and I pray, Lord, give us this day our daily bread. Amen. And I come out and sit down. Children, don't worry. The Lord is going to take care of everything. You keep on sitting there doing nothing praying that the Lord will give you some daily bread see if you and your family don't starve to death waiting on the Lord but if you went in your room and said Lord give us this day I daily bread and I know you're gonna do it because you got control over conditions so now Lord I'm going to work in my wheat field I'm plowing it up and I'm planting wheat because you can't have bread without wheat or flour so I'm doing my part then God sends the clouds with the rain and the earth does its part and before you know it I got a field of wheat and I grind the wheat into flour and then I make me some daily bread I'm not talking about daily the mayor giving you bread I'm talking about you going to work daily producing your own bread if you sit around and wait for a mystery God you're gonna be poor, ragged, hungry, naked, and out of doors. Any of you Muslims who call yourself followers of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, they're still working for the Caucasian and still planning to stay there with him. You don't follow the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Elijah Muhammad you know that the white man is gonna dump black people and he already has dumped a great portion of us he doesn't have no more jobs for our young men so what are we gonna do allow our young men to be swallowed up selling drugs or are we gonna call our young men and say no we got to go to work and create jobs for ourselves. I'm saying, steal away. If you can't walk away, steal away, and let's go on and do something for ourselves. Just a few of us that are here. If we went to work for ourselves, the money that we would produce would allow us quickly to build institutions to serve our own. White folks were smart. They went to work. And then they saw some black folks in Africa. They said, let's get them. 
and put them to work. And they put our fathers to work for them for 300 years for nothing. I didn't say work a week for nothing. Look, brother, just the people in this room, if I worked you for one week and kept your pay, I would be fat at the end of the week. Suppose I worked you for two weeks, three weeks, one month and kept your pay. Wouldn't I be able to live well? Can you imagine somebody keeping somebody else's pay for all of their life and their children's life and their children's 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 life going to 310 years? Our people never got a payday. White folks got our money, kept our money, worked us and made us build a world for them that they lock us out of the benefits of? Do you expect that man to turn around now and make it possible for you to make advancement in his world? The kingdom of heaven is within you. You got to build your kingdom. And it starts today, not tomorrow, today, with you making a commitment that I'm not going to wait on no mystery God. I'm going to get up today and start planning my move. If I got a job and the money is pretty good, I'm going to hold it for now. But I'm going to see how I can steal away. Because even if the money is good today, it's not going to last always. So I better be ready to do something for myself if I want to feed my family. And I'm telling you, my young brothers, you come on and unite with us. And we will teach you how to go out here and make some money. And you don't have to steal, cheat, or sell drugs. But you will be able to feed yourselves and your family. Sisters, you too. I know they give you jobs while they don't give the brother nothing. But the job that they give you is to get close to you. Because they don't want to just give you a job. They want to give you a baby. They know that the heaven that the Jesus was going to bring about they're going to have to qualify to get in it, and most of them know they're not going to make it. And that's why we used to sing a song on the plantation. Everybody talking about heaven ain't going there. Heaven, heaven. No, these crackers were talking about heaven all the time, but they ain't not going there. They're making you work to build a heaven for them now. I'm saying, black man and woman, wake up. Let's go to work and build a heaven for ourselves now while we live. And let us learn how to live where we can be at peace with one another, not at each other's throat, but we got to learn how to be at peace, how to pool our resources, our talent, our energy, our skills. And then in a little while, you look all over Chicago and we'll say, yeah, we own that, we own this, we own this, yeah. Now this is our skyscraper, yeah, that's our ship. Now these are our ships here going over the highway. Yeah, these are our airplanes, these are our trucks. And when you can say that, the world will look at you differently. They'll never say, there go those niggas. They'll say, there goes those people of God for the kingdom that they've been preaching about, singing about is now becoming a reality. Beloved brothers and sisters, there is no mystery God. So from this day forward, you must know that God is real and he works through people and he'll give you knowledge and wisdom to get up and do something for yourself. So may Allah bless each and every one of you 
to understand what was said today that you must get up and make a difference don't start tomorrow start now today and say never again will I be a slave for somebody else the kingdom of God is within me I intend to bring it out and benefit from it thank you for listening as I greet you in peace Assalamu alaikum.